To get started on your building journey, you're going to first want to craft a pebblet axe, which you can do after you analyze a pebblet. These pebblets can be found throughout the yard, and they will be vital in many crafting recipes. Once you have your axe, take a look at your hot pouch and make sure that your building tools are being assigned to the slot you prefer. Then it's time to go find a grass blade and chop it down in order to make grass planks. These grass planks will unlock the wall, door, and floor blueprints. Another building material that you're going to want to locate will be weed stems. These can be found by chopping down dandelions. One tip to help you locate dandelions is that while you're walking around the yard, keep your eyes to the sky. Dandelions typically tower over the grass, making them really easy to spot from a distance. While mapping out your new base, if you really want to clear up the grass in the area you're building at, don't forget to go after the stumps of grass that's left behind when you chop the stock down. Not only will you remove these stumps, but you'll also receive plenty of plant fiber while doing this. As you continue to discover new materials in the backyard, you're going to want to go back to an analyzer to analyze them from time to time. While some blueprints will be unlocked simply by harvesting the materials, other blueprints will only be discovered from analyzing specific items, such as the stair recipe when analyzing grass planks. As you unlock blueprints, you'll be able to start building your base. Starting with grass planks and then moving up to wheat stems, you'll be able to find sturdier materials to help you keep those pesky bugs away. Remember the construction radial mentioned in the last vlog? Well, it will become your greatest tool as you work on laying out blueprints to build your best base. A handy feature for players playing cooperatively and grounded is the fact that blueprints you lay down will be seen by all players playing. This way, everyone can help design and contribute to the base. Another thing to keep in mind before you start building is the location. You may want to look for a central location to start, but keep in mind that you could really build bases all around the yard if you want to. There really is no right or wrong way on how to build your base, and to be honest, you can demolish and rebuild at any time. Just go out there, have fun, and build the base that you really want to build. Starting a game in creative mode means that you'll be able to go out and play in the backyard without fear of any unexpected visitors. Bugs do not spawn in this mode, allowing you to really get creative with your base locations and build in locations that might otherwise be unsafe. When you start your game in this mode, all blueprints available will automatically be unlocked for you, so you can get to building right away. You can also have your friends join you in this mode, so you can all get creative together. As we mentioned earlier, there really is no right or wrong way to build your base. Like towers? Well, what if you build two towers next to each other and then build your house in between the towers? You'll have plenty of space to work with for all those decorations you want. Had an idea to build a base in a drink can? Well, you can do it. You might have to get a little creative with it, but it will definitely make for a nice, sturdy home. Love tree houses? Well, why not build a tree mansion? You can even have some fun with how you enter your home. Looking for a little waterside property? Well, you can build that, and then you'll have a nice spot to relax at as the day winds down. Thought about making an entire little village in the backyard? complete with a basketball court and a target practice area? Then get ready because you can do that too. There are so many things you'll be able to do in the backyard with the materials you find. And honestly, we really can't wait to see where your imagination takes you. In our next vlog, we're going to take a look at how crafting works and go over some of the tier 0 to tier 1 items found in the game. And as always, please comment below with any sort of ideas or questions you may have for us to cover in a future vlog. 
Grounded will be included in Xbox Game Pass and will be available for purchase through Xbox Game Preview, the Microsoft Store, and Steam Early Access for $29.99 on July 28th. If you're an Xbox Game Pass subscriber, you can go ahead and pre-install the game now to prepare for the launch. Or if you plan to play on Steam, head over to our store page and wishlist it today. The backyard is waiting, and we look forward to meeting up with all of you there soon. See you in the backyard!